So this is Jenny Stout. Jenny, um, can you tell us the materials you're using? Sure. Um, well, I start with a mechanical pencil. Um, that way I don't have to bring a pencil sharpener. And this one's just a drafting pencil. Um, and then I use that to place my initial uh, guidelines. And I have a kneaded eraser. Um, then I go over with, uh, I have Zig Millennium uh, Fine Liner Pen. They're made by Kirataki, and I got I have them in a variety of widths. Um, are they water Are they waterproof? Yes, they are. Well, yes, they're waterproof. They're acid free and archival. Uh, but you should probably wait for it to dry completely before you go over it with watercolors because. Um, I, sometimes I get a little too excited to put the, the color down and uh, it's not quite dry and then it smears a little bit but for the most part if you let it dry it's um, waterproof okay. and then um, I have my water brushes here oh they are Kiritake they're Kiritake as well that's what it says there and I have three sizes I have the, the small medium and large and the paints, oh, use a little mister, oops, sorry, <laughs> a little yeah. mister for keeping my paints wet. And this is great, you can get this for about a dollar in the um, uh, travel section at like Target or Walmart. And then um, right now I'm using Windsor Newton, Windsor Newton paints. Um, they're Cotman, so they're a little bit cheaper um, than the professional grade, but they still give really beautiful colors. And it looks really clean because uh, it's a new palette. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have an old sock that didn't have a friend, so that's what I'm using to um, kind of clean off my brushes, my water brushes when I'm in between. So you don't use a pan of water? No. Not, uh, not, no, not at the moment. It's just easier for, I, I take less stuff if I have the water brushes. So I just, I fill it with water and then dip it in the paint and I'm good to go. Okay. And then I, in case it gets windy, I use clips and I found these at the dollar store. It came in like a six pack for a dollar. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And unlike the, the regular metal clips, um, these are covered in like a plastic so it's not going to mar your pages. It won't mar your paper when you flip it down. Walk sign is on for all crossings. Patty's an urban sketcher. Patty, what paints are you using? I use Holbein. And this is uh, permanent Elysian crimson. Indigo and Quindacterone Gold. I use a limited palette to mix my colors. I find that there's more harmony in a limited palette. What's that sponge? Is there a sponge in there? Oh, that's so uh, when I leave, I keep my uh, paint moist so it helps so it doesn't dry out.